Hi everyone, uh, this is Mr. Delicious, the traveling tutor and coach. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, which is uh, I am now giving a video mathematics tutorial for the advanced mathematics uh, stream students. And we have started the video number one, which is the uh, uh, paper one, question one and two. For this video, we are going to, oh, I'm going to present the question number four, five, and six. So uh, bear with me for this video tutorial for uh, number two for the grade 12 advanced mathematics students. So once again, if you have not subscribed my YouTube channel yet, do so so that you will always be notified whenever I upload a video tutorial uh, for the advanced mathematics students. If you are not advanced mathematics students, you can still watch this video tutorial. This is for in preparation for the uh, national examination for the grade 12 students here in Papua New Guinea. But students around the world, if you are taking mathematics and if you want to watch the video tutorial, uh, watch this video tutorial mathematics so you can also learn something from what we are doing here. Anyway, after all, mathematics is a universal uh, a subject and whatever we uh, teach here is the same in, in your country. Okay, so now let's move on to question number three for the grade 12 advanced mathematics students. Let me first erase this question number two. We are now into question number four. I have to skip to question number four because question number three is it's going to be just a waste of time because the question is a uh, true or false question and uh, that's why I want you to uh, make sure that uh, when you spend time watching the video, you are going to uh, uh, get something from, from this, okay? Now, the question number four is, this is the question number four for the grade 12 advanced mathematics students, paper one year. The paper is year 2010. And this is the question, uh, find the derivative of the function y is equal to x squared minus 3x plus 4. So this one is very easy for question number, sorry, this is question number four. For question number four, the uh, original function is uh, y is equal to uh, x squared minus 3x plus 4. So this is just a bonus question. That's why it's only worth one mark because it's just very easy for you to find it. So the derivative of the function y with respect to x is this one, 2x minus 3. That's it. Okay? So this is now the final answer. The derivative of y with respect to x in the given original function y is equal to x squared minus 3x plus 4 is equal to 2x minus 3. You get it now? Okay? So that's how you get the derivative. This is on the differential uh, calculus okay now let's move on to question number five question number five this is now on question number five so the question number four is on the topic uh, finding the derivative of the given uh, function so question number five is this is our question number five so this is our question number five Grade 12 Advanced Mathematics Students, Paper 1, Year 2010 paper that we are, that I am presenting to you here as a revision. Okay, attention all the grade 12 students. So, for question number 5, find the exact value of the product second theta co, uh, times cos, cos second theta, given that the sine theta is equal to 3 over 5 and the cosine theta is equal to 4 over 5. You, you understand this question? Okay. So this is worth one mark only for question number five. So it should not be uh, difficult for you. So what would you do here? When it, when it says find the exact value of the product second theta times cosecant theta, given that sine theta is equal to three over five and cosine theta is equal to four over five. This is actually on the right angle triangle, the trigonometric ratio uh, a right angle triangle. So you remember our Sokatawa in trigonometry. So first thing that you should do, the technique here is to draw, to draw a right angle triangle. Okay, this is a right angle triangle. 
And if you put your theta here, okay, so the given sine theta is 3 over 5. 3 over 5. So remember that sine theta is equal to opposite divided by hypotenuse. So if this is sine theta here, the opposite is 3, and then the hypotenuse is 5. So this is the, to find the exact, 3 over 5. Whilst cosine theta is equal to 4 over 5. So cosine theta is equal to ka, which is adjacent, divided by hypotenuse. Now, the given exact value for cosine theta is equal to 4, which is adjacent, divided by 5, which is the hypotenuse. So, if this is our theta, cosine theta is adjacent, which is 4, divided by the hypotenuse is 5. Now, we have the value now for the uh, sides of the right angle triangle. Now, take note on second theta, second theta, and cosecant theta, okay? These two are the reciprocal of this uh, uh, ratio, trigonometric ratios here. So, uh, the cosecant theta is the reciprocal of sine theta. The second theta is the reciprocal of uh, cos uh, cos cosine theta. So, in other words, therefore, this is uh, sine theta is equal to 1 over cosecant theta, while cosine theta is equal to uh, cos uh, is equal to 1 over uh, second theta. Okay? So, this can also be rewritten as uh, this one is uh, going to be also the same as cosecant theta is equal to uh, 1 over sine theta because they are just uh, reciprocal to each other. While uh, second, this one, second theta, second theta is equal to the reciprocal is 1 over uh, cosine theta. Okay? So I hope that's getting, you're getting it right now. Let me just show it that side here. Okay. <coughs> okay. Now from here, from this one here, we now, therefore, our... Our uh, equation is find the exact value of the product second theta cosecant theta. So we have uh, second, this is second theta times cosecant theta. <coughs> Our uh, uh, second theta is equal to 1 over sine theta. Uh, so, sorry, second theta is equal to 1 over cosine theta. So 1 over cosine theta times the cosecant theta. Cosecant theta is equal to 1 over uh, sine theta. Okay. If our sine theta is equal to uh, 3 over 5, 3 over 5, and our cosecant theta is 4 over 5, then we will substitute these values here in the given expression. So this now becomes 1 over the cosine theta. The cosine theta is 4 over 5. 4 over 5 multiplied by 1 over the sine theta is 3 over 5. So therefore, our final answer is this will become uh, 5 over 4 times uh, 5 over 3. How did we get that? 
when we divide the rule of dividing fraction, when we divide, we, we get the reciprocal this 5 will go up. That's why. And then we have now 5 over 4. As well as when we divide fraction, the, we get the uh, reciprocal of the second fraction, 5 over 3. So we have now the final answer is 5 times 5 equals 25. Divided by 4 times 3 is equal to 12. Okay? So we cannot simplify this one further. Therefore, the product of second theta, cosecant theta is 25 over 12. And that is our final answer. You get it now? 25 over 12 is 25 over 12 is the answer okay i hope it's clear to you there that's the one okay 25 over 12 is the answer when you try to get the product of second theta cosecant theta okay now that's question number five five seconds Take a look, and this is our final answer here to find the value of that. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay, now let's move on to question number 6. Question number 6 for paper 1, Advanced Mathematics Students, Grade 12, Stream Advanced Mathematics Students. Okay, so this is video number two, and this is our question number uh, six, Grade 12 Advanced, Advanced Mathematics, Paper 1, Year 2010. This is our uh, question number six, and the topic is on vectors. Okay, so we have this uh, formula. You look at this one, this diagram, the vector, this is our resultant vector. T and then is equal to R plus T. You look at the arrow also. That's our, uh, our uh, uh, sign there on how to uh, add. Express vector S, which is this one, in terms of vectors R and T. Okay, so if we rewrite this, this is the, the diagram. And you take note of this arrow here. This is vector t with that symbol. Or usually we have, you must always have that symbol to show a vector. And then this arrow here is the r. This is a addition of a vector. And we have the s vector and this is the arrow here. So if you look at this and this is our resultant ve vector t. And then that the resultant vector is equal to, you look at the direction R, vector R plus vector S. Okay, so therefore, our answer would be vector T is equal to vector R plus, this is vector R plus uh, vector T, uh, sorry, vector S. Now, because we are asked to find the value or uh, uh, the expression for s, vector s, in terms of vectors r and, uh, uh, r and t, then we have to let this s be the subject. So we move the vector r to the other side equals vector t. Please do not forget to always indicate this symbol here as the vector because if you don't indicate it, then it will be wrong. It is not vector anymore. So, when you transpose positive vector to the other side, equals minus vector r equals vector s. So, this is now the expression for vector s in terms of vector t and vector r. So, take note, I have put here the symbol that it is a vector. Okay? Vector is, vector is a, a quantity that gives the magnitude and the direction. So this one is uh, what it meant here. So this is uh, our question 
uh, number, what's question? This is question number six. I forgot to write it. Question number six uh, for uh, the topic vector worth one mark only. Okay? So this is Mr. Delicious. This is video number two for the grade 12 advanced mathematics students' uh, revisions for the paper year 2010. I know that the grade 12 students uh, are very good at maths already, so I think uh, viewing this one will also refresh your uh, preparation for the um, national examination in October. And for those who are not uh, uh, advanced mathematics students, you can still learn on this one. Watch the video because uh, it's good to uh, enhance your mathematics skills and it also uh, uh, trigger your uh, mathematical skills in your brain. Okay, this is Mr. Delicious. Please subscribe and comment below. Watch all my video tutorial and tell all your brothers and sisters to uh, watch my videos wherever you are in the world, whether you are in Papua New Guinea, in the uh, Philippines, or in all parts of the world. If you are a math student, if you are a mathematics student, watch this video tutorial. Bye for now. This is Mr. Delicious and Tata.